Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal, not to our lesson we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, boys and girls, welcome to Heroes Modern School Academy. My name is Mr. Lan. I will be walking you through third grade mathematics third grade mathematics, and we are going to be on page 223, uh, week 34, and day number three of the curriculum. All right. So if you've got your workbook in your hands, please go ahead and turn to page number 223, 223, and we are going to still be talking about bar graphs today. So remember from yesterday, we talked about bar graphs. Okay, so and we talked about what a bar graph is going to look like. This is typically what a bar graph is going to look like. But today we're going to be talking about the properties of bar graphs. What are those properties? What are the different components of the bar graph, different parts of it? So there is a part of the bar graph that we call the x-axis. And I know I just talked about that yesterday, but you got to commit this to memory right now. The horizontal line on which the bars sit can be called x -axis. Axis. Okay, so this is the x-axis over here. This this line over there, that's the x-axis. Then the vertical line is another property. The vertical line is going to be the y-axis. And it is the vertical line that shows the number of points or shows the number uh, that shows how high a particular bar is going to be on this chart. That's called the y-axis, the y-axis. Okay, so there's going to be another property that we can call the bars themselves. So this is going to be a bar. Okay, that's a bar. That's a bar. So this is a property of the bar chart as well. So this is a bar. Okay, so we got a bar. We have X axis. We have Y axis. Three properties so far. And there is going to be something that we can call the scale. The scale. Okay, so this is the scale. Uh, the scale tells you the difference between this upper point and the lower points over there. And uh, this is going to start from zero. And to know the scale of any bar graph, you just want to say an upper point like 10 minus a lower point like zero. So the scale of this bar graph is going to be 10 points. Okay, 10 points is the scale of the bar graph. There may be other scales like if this were to be like uh, 5, if there's a 5 over here, there's another 15 over there, then the scale of the bar graph in that case will have been 10 minus 5, which is going to be a 5-point scale, okay, 5-point scale over there. So look at the, the vertical axis and look at the higher point, and then the lower point, you subtract that from it, you're going to get your scale over there. So there are four major properties of a bar graph. There is the x-axis. Remember, x is going to be horizontal horizontal, the line that goes in the horizontal direction, and the bars are going to be sitting on the x-axis over there. Then the y-axis talks about the number of points or how high each bar is going to be over there. And then you have the actual bars themselves, bar one, two, three, in this case, there may be more than one bars for other, other bar graphs. And then you have the scale, okay, the scale is going to be um, how finely we want to define this bar graph. All right. So did you get something out of it? Properties of bar graphs. All right. So thank you for joining me today. Please go ahead and turn to page 223 of your workbook. You can go ahead and try to complete the exercises over there. There is going to be a homework for you there as well. So, it, so you can internalize this concept a little bit better. All right. So remember to recite your morality creed so you can retain the knowledge of God in your consciousness because we want to use this knowledge for the praise of God's glory, right? Because God is the author of all knowledge. Don't forget that. And use this knowledge to praise his glory. All right. And remember, God cares about you and so do we at Heroes Mark. We love you guys very much and we care about you. All right. Until next time. Bye-bye. I believe in Jesus Christ the Messiah who died and was resurrected from the dead to save humanity from sin. He is my Lord, Master, Boss, and Savior. I love God, I love myself, and 
Second, I love others with the God kind of love. I believe the Bible is inspired by the Spirit of God and is the basis for morality, rights, and wrongs. I look to the Spirit of God to understand God's intent behind every letter of the Bible. I abide by this intent and I live to honor God in thought, in word, and in deed. I believe there is a heaven to gain and a hell to shun. Father, please give me grace and mercy to please you more. This is my morality creed. In the name of Jesus, amen. I'll be your hero's body and as you study with heroes born.